Hey guys, this is your host Eric. Today we are going to watch sci-fi genre movie called Mortal. Spoilers ahead, turn on your subtitle, I greatly appreciate your support. Enjoy the video. Hello there. The film begins with Eric Berglund, an American Norwegian who has no direction in life and is wandering around the Norwegian woods with his injured leg. After a long journey, he decides to pitch a tent in the middle of the forest and spend the night there. Eric becomes emotionally unstable while sleeping that night, and the trees outside the tent begin to burn in the morning. Every tree around him has been burned down, except for Eric in his tent. However, as the burn wound on his leg worsens, he decides to travel to a nearby town. Upon arrival, he enters a clinic and steals several items to heal his wound while being treated. He realizes that unless he trims his hair and transforms into a much better looking guy on his way to nowhere, he looks terrible. Three troublemakers in their father's Mercedes spot him and try to talk to him, but Eric ignores them, one of them his entire life, and begins harassing the homeless. Eric warns Old not to touch him again or he will be burned, but the arrogant teen disregards the warning and grabs his jacket, all of which suddenly collapses and dies without Eric touching him. Eric flees and is apprehended the next day by local police for murder while awaiting extradition back to the United States. Henrik, the local police chief, brings in a psychologist named Christine in the hopes that she can help Eric. Henrik informs her that the man is also a suspect in a three-year-old fire at a farm that killed five people. Eric, who is sitting in the corner of the interrogation room, initially refuses to speak to her. Christine persuades him to sit at the table, where she calms him down, telling him that it was not his fault and that bad things happened. She suggests that Henrik, who is watching from the other room, have his handcuffs removed in order to gain Eric's trust. Ola's parents arrive at the police station a few moments later, and his father, Bjorn, insists on seeing the murder, but Hendrik refuses. After that, Eric finally admits to killing the farm workers who turn out to be his. As they converse, he uses his superpower to pull water from a glass. Christine is perplexed and requests an explanation, but Eric is equally perplexed. He also manages to set fire to the table. Eric becomes emotional again and begins burning the entire interrogation room with his hand. Christine comes to the conclusion that his emotions control his power. As a result, she approaches Eric and quickly advises him on how to focus in order to control his power. He eventually gains control of his emotions and brings the chaos to a halt. Officer Hathaway arrives not long after the embassies to bring Eric back to America. He refuses to speak to anyone but Christine. She warns them that flying Eric in a helicopter is too dangerous. They are adamant, and Eric is sedated to keep him unconscious. Eric abruptly awakens in the middle of the flight and begins to panic due to being tethered. He cannot be given another dose because he will overdose. Eric causes a thunderstorm, causing the helicopter to lose power and crash into the sea. He then realizes he can breathe in the water and decides to burn the seat. He saves Hathaway and immediately flees after she awakens the search and rescue team, who begins the search operation in the wreckage and finds three dead bodies on the other side. Christine hears about the helicopter crash on the news and rushes to the scene. Eric appears unexpectedly in front of the psychologist's house, and she decides to transport him to a friend's cabin in the middle of the forest. He reveals that he receives power at the farm and explains that the farm fire was caused by him breaking in. Hathaway shows Henrik proof of Eric's ability to control the weather that caused the helicopter crash at the hospital. As a result, she informs the police that he must be found as soon as possible. Christine receives a phone call the next day from a friend informing her that she is hiding a criminal and advising her to turn Eric into the police. She apologizes and explains the suggestion to Eric after he awakens. Christine unexpectedly hugs the superhuman before they leave, realizing she has feelings for him. She changes her mind and decides to return Eric to the farm to discover the source of the power. Christine's friend and Henrik keep calling, so she decides to throw her phone into the water at the gas station. Christine discovers that the police are looking for Eric because he has become the suspect and is in charge of the helicopter. While driving, Eric explains that he sometimes feels as if he is in another world, where he sees a massive tree that fills the entire horizon. Christina then attempts to overtake the large truck in front of her. As a result, their car nearly collides with a car traveling in the opposite direction. This causes Eric to panic, and he unleashes a thunderbolt that destroys their car but does not harm Christine. After crashing, the truck driver decides to give them a ride shortly after the police arrive at the crash scene, where Hathaway informs Eric that he is not permitted to reach and cross a bridge that will lead him to the other city. They eventually arrive at the bridge mentioned by the US agent earlier. The police, on the other hand, have set up a roadblock. The driver finally realizes that Eric is the man the cops have been looking for and comes to a complete stop. They are then left with no choice but to surrender. Eric gets out of the truck and surrenders while two police officers point their guns at him. Christine approaches them and requests that they lower their weapons, but she is apprehended. 
Instead, Eric begs them to release his lover, but they ignore him, causing Eric to lose control and rage. The sky is suddenly covered in dark clouds, and a thunderstorm occurs. Thunderbirds begin to strike as Eric screams in pain. Christine approaches him as usual and tells him to control his emotion. The police officers continue to approach them. Then Eric uses his power to create a lightning fence, which causes him to collapse and the storm to pass. Henrik arrives to assist and rushes both of them to the hospital. Eric and the bridge incident has gone viral, and the locals are beginning to believe he is a god. Some of them even believe he is Thor. When he arrives, the wounds on his body are worsening, and he is immediately taken to the MRI. Christine uses headphones to keep him calm. When the scanning process begins, however, Eric inadvertently destroys the machine with his power, causing a power outage at the hospital. To make matters worse, a nurse appears, claiming that a boy has gone into cardiac arrest and requires immediate treatment. Eric rushes towards the ICU when Bjorn Lola's father appears and shoots him. Lucky, Henrik eventually calms him down and lets Eric use his power to get to the ICU. Eric revives the boy, and he awakens from his coma, causing his parents to cry joyful tears. Eric has gained popularity since then, and many people beg him to hold their hand. They then continue on their journey to the farm. Christ receives a book on Norse mythology from Henrik. He explains that another god died in Ragnarok after Thor. Thor's children built a farm, which they believe is where Eric gained his power. Henrik and the psychologist explore the location upon arrival, while Eric is told to wait at the entrance. He follows them until they reach a room where Eric is on his knees and unable to move. Henrik suspects that something is hidden down there and orders his men to dig. On the other side, Hathaway and the US Army arrive and secretly observe what they are doing waiting for the right moment to assassinate Eric. The team eventually discovers a cave beneath the farm containing many ancient North Row stones, as well as a depiction of Rissel, the trees Eric mentioned to Christine earlier. After the team examines the location, Eric is told it is time for him to enter the cave, where he discovers A. He opens the chest with the assistance of one of the team members and discovers Thor's glove, belt, and hammer. Neil grabs them and puts on all of Thor's armor, and then a thunderbolt strikes from the sky. This time, however, it does not harm his body because the hammer absorbs all of the energy. Christine rushes over to him as he emerges from the cave. Meanwhile, Hathaway directs her sniper to kill Eric, but the bullet misses and instead hits Christine, killing her instantly. Eric desperately tries to revive her, but he is unsuccessful. Eric becomes enraged and unleashes a massive thunderstorm, ruthlessly attacking people near the farm. At the end of the film, our reporter reports that the thunderstorm at the farm has claimed a large number of lives, and Eric mysteriously disappears. We really appreciate you watching. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the notification bell because it is really important for us. Thank you.